A 13-year-old male has a canine stuck in his upper jaw. The surprising reason this tooth is stuck and the surgical correction today on The Open Reduction. Welcome to The Open Reduction, your channel covering all topics oral and maxillofacial surgery. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton, and today we're discussing the treatment of an impacted maxillary canine. This patient is a 13-year-old male who was referred by his orthodontist for evaluation of an impacted tooth. The left canine erupted correctly, and there is space for this tooth to come in, so it's unclear why it didn't erupt appropriately. Clinically, there's no sign of an interference. I am able to palpate the canine crown along the labial aspect of the alveolus. I took a look at the image the orthodontist sent over, and there's something suspicious in the vicinity of the crown of this tooth. I take a comb beam CT, and immediately it's clear why this tooth is stuck. There is a large collection of radiopaque lesions parallel to the tooth number six. These lesions are clustered and have the same appearance as tooth material. This finding is highly suggestive of a compound odontoma. A compound odontoma is a benign tumor of well-organized dental tissue. This particular type of odontoma is more common in the anterior maxilla and is smaller than a complex odontoma. Thankfully, the prognosis on an odontoma is excellent. The treatment is surgical excision, and they do not recur if they're removed in their entirety. But we still have the issue of the ectopic and impacted canine. The tooth may erupt naturally once the odontoma is removed, but the root apex is closed, so the prognosis is guarded. The best treatment is exposure of this canine and then placement of a bracket and chain to his existing orthodontic wire. The orthodontist will then put tension on this chain and guide the tooth into the arch. This procedure is performed in the office under IV sedation. Once the patient is asleep and anesthetized, I first create a flap along the labial and palatal aspects to visualize the tooth and the tumor. Next, I use a handpiece to remove palatal bone and locate the tumor. Here we can see the odontoma coming into view. I then remove the tumor using a curette and a rangeur. Here is the bulk of the odontoma. Next, I cure it and rinse everything and confirm there is no additional tumor present. Now I turn my attention to the canine. I remove the labial bone covering the crown. Here is the window I created, and we can see the tooth is still wrapped in the follicle. I remove the follicle and all adjacent soft tissue so I have clear access to the crown. Now that the crown is isolated, I etch and bond the bracket to the tooth.
The bracket is attached to a chain which is secured to the orthodontic wire. I close the soft tissue with chromic sutures. I monitor this patient in the office and he'll go see the orthodontist in two weeks to begin chain activation. The pathology report confirmed the diagnosis of a compound odontoma and no additional work is necessary. Thanks so much for watching. Please click those like and subscribe buttons and check out my channel for additional interesting OMFS cases like this one. Also, visit my website, theopenreduction.com, for continuing education credit. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton. I'll catch you next time on The Open Reduction.